what a lovely day we had there on Kista Plains. We saw a leopard, Cindy Lie, and a green wing pie till he are. Green wing pie till he are. Green wing pie till he are. Cindy Lie came running fast us, then we went to Kita Plains where the work of zebras. Zebras. Sitting by the pan, there was some zebras. Zebras. Sitting by the pan with some big, big elephants drinking on the water. Drinking on the water with the elephants at the pan. Drinking on the water with the buffaloes at the pan. Everyone was drinking at the pan. It was nice. Very, very nice. Mm -mm. Mm. Hello, everybody. Hello. This is our Friday wrap of the drive. It is indeed. Hello, Susan and Tracy and Stephen and Barbara and Josephine mm. and Dee. Hello. Hello. This is Brian. Hello. I am James. Yes. Oh, there's Chelsea. Photo bombs in the background. Hello, Chelsea. Hey, Chelsea. Chelsea's from Vermont. Mm. Up in Vermont. Very nice. Okay, so this is our Friday rap. Mm -hmm. uh, not rap. We've done the rap rap. Yes, it's the yes. w rap. Mm. Yes. Good week? Very good week. Very pleasant. How was week. yours? Yes, very pleasant. Of course, it started mm. on a great high with the magnificent uh, TV shows. Mm. Mm. It was quite intense, it was quite stressful, it was so but intense. always a good time, always, always the a best good time. time. It the was best the best time. time, actually. It's so exciting. Hello, James, Richard, hello, Linda, hello, Josephine. Oh, hello, Standard Bank has just sent me a message saying I've got millions of brands. Excellent. Oh, That's marvellous. Brilliant. I'm richer than Methuselah. I don't know if he was rich or not. Sounds rich. Yeah, sounds rich. Mm. Right. Brian, when will you post that vid of James and the Nala? <laughs> I will have to edit it a little bit more to make it that much more exciting. Right. But it is quite a uh, macabre. I think it's yet. very funny. Yeah, it is. It is <laughs> macabrely funny. Maca macabrely funny. Macabrely. Yes. yes. Now, we're hoping that Byron will make an appearance shortly and that we might interview him about his first few days here at Safari Live. Mm. We've all been very nice to him. Thank you very much. Mm. Thank you for being nice to him. He's a very sensitive fellow, oh, even is. though he is from the south of Johannesburg, <laughs> which, of course, is gangsterland. Very much if so. you happen to be from gangsterland. Now, Tricia Payton, you're from Bonnie, Scotland, and thank you for sending us your message. Now, uh, word on the street is it that uh, with the UK possibly leaving mm. the European Union, the whole uh, problem of Scottish independence comes up again, and you may be having another referendum up there about becoming independent and perhaps joining the Union. This, of course, I think is a good idea because it means I may get a Scottish passport, which is better than the South African version. It's very expensive to fly on the South African. Byron, come here! Yes, come away, Ah, the man of the hour. Here is, is the man of the hour, ah, Byron. Oh, ah, good evening, him. everyone. What Hello. a magnificent human being. <laughs> there he is. Ah, oh, good grief. That is the pinnacle of humanity mm. right there. Hello, Byron. Hi, uh, James. How are you? Good yes, evening, I'm everybody. Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Please sit down, Byron. Grab a seat. Sit down. Let me sit yeah, down. pull in here, man. Pull in here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Very kind Where of you. Where are you going, Brian? I'm Brian. going in another seat. Oh, Brian. Yeah, Brian. Brian is being very polite. Oh. Oh. Brian is polite. Stop hitting the camera, Sorry. Brian. Sorry. Here we go. Yes. Now, yes. you are on Facebook Hello. Live. You know what that uh, means? Ah, the I'm assuming... It means I'm live. You're live we on are Facebook. Live, yes. Yes. On Facebook, yes. Thank, thank you to Mr. Thank Zuckerberg. You. Thank you, Mr. Zuckerberg. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Zuckerberg, for all for, your efforts. Thank you, Mr. Zuckerberg. For, yes, but you did it for free, of course. Yes. You haven't made any money out of this little Nothing. malarkey at all. <laughs> really enjoy Byron, Sarah. There you go. You've got a fan, Byron. Look, oh, one. Thank Sarah. you. Hi, Sarah. Thank you very much. She was clearly blind and deaf. Um, <laughs> so... James and I are very good friends, as you can tell. As you can tell. <laughs> we are excellent and friends here. We, we, the, the banter between us is very good and yes. it keeps us humble. <laughs> yes, it does. Mostly. Now, I must Mostly. just tell you a story which I've told around the camp. Now, Byron, of course, like I say, is from the south of Johannesburg, where which English, is beautiful. English is a second language. <laughs> what language do you speak there normally? Um, English. English. English, well, it's but... A, it's a version. The, the, the ah. It's a version. Certain people so, in the area have a have a slight twang let's yes. put it that way twang. <laughs> yes now one of the uh, one of the so, the twangs the things that they say or well, they shorten words uh, much as they do in some parts of the united states for example um, were you to say i am going to you might say i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to the shops i'm gonna go to the shops 
which means I am going to go to the shops. Now, when Byron was training, we were listening to a bird going... Stealings Bard Ren Warbler. Very good. Yes. Very nice. Stealings Ren Warbler. I've learned a lot. Now... No one could see it, but then Byron spotted it. Because and I'm very alert in the bush. And you are. You have excellent eyes. And what did you say, Byron, when you saw it? There's he there. Right. <laughs> Just say that again. There's he there. I was very excited right. at this stage. So so I'm trying to get it out quickly. He said, there's he there, hmm. which in the language of the south of Johannesburg <laughs> means, there he is over there. <laughs> James has never let me forget that or live that down. Well, that's because you had to guide people who you had to tell. You, had, you can't go to uh, a, a tourist, a high-paying international mm. traveler from France. I have learned And when you lesson. hear a Stealings Bard Ren Warbler say, there's he there. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have learned my lesson and James, uh, well, because of James, I've worked on my vocabulary and, uh, and I believe yes. it's become a lot better. Well, uh, it's, uh, Do, have, have you all understood me? As long as you all understand me, I'm happy. Yes. Byron also has a startlingly good general knowledge, and it pains me to say that he's beat me on more than one occasion at Trivial Pursuit. It's a, it's a <sighs> secret. It's a secret talent of mine. Well, I have to tell you, I've lost a couple of games, in my, uh, many games in my time, but losing to Byron, there's he there, Sorrell, <laughs> at Trivial Pursuit, I have to tell you, was one of the most painful experiences of my life. Yeah. Right. I mean, look at him. Uh, there he is there. Did you have a nice afternoon, James? I did, yes. It, it was, was amazing. amazing. We had an amazing right, afternoon. Nice. Mm. It was fantastic. We had a lovely evening. Um, uh, the afternoon, it, actually, it was a nice day. It was a wonderful day. Fantastic. And what did you see this afternoon? So this afternoon we got to see a lovely herd of elephant and a, uh, a business of dwarf mongoose. A business of dwarf mongoose. Yes. Who told you that? Um... I did. You did. I, I told I myself see. that. But oh, that is I see. A, 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 uh, a, I see. Yeah. A, a group of, of mongoose, I believe, right. is called a business. A business. Okay, good. James <laughs> Richard would like to know, Byron, um, would you settle the debate, which is cuter, a lion or a leopard cub? Uh, a, a leopard cub. <sighs> yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a leopard cub. <laughs> leopard cub. Oh, are we? Are lion we? is, of course, wrong. Brian, <laughs> what do you think? I would say lion. <laughs> I would lion. say lion too, I'm afraid. So then it's not a debate. It's, it is. It's a majority rule, and you've already made your decision. That is correct. All oh, right. Yes, we just thought he, we'd. I get bullied. <laughs> I get bullied here. Brian, look at the size of me compared with you. How can you say you get bullied? <laughs> <laughs> Verbally bullied. Yes. And, <laughs> I'm um, very sensitive. Very. You're from the <laughs> south of Johannesburg. You're ridiculous. Um, hang on a second. Now, many questions coming through nice. here. Wonderful. We enjoy. Thank you so much. Uh, Caroline, Caroline very thank kind, you very much. Kind compliments to Byron. Thank you so much. <laughs> Always unnecessary. Don't pay him too many compliments. I'm going to start that. blushing. Yes. Luckily, I got a bit of a tan <laughs> out there this afternoon. Yes. So. You are looking <laughs> quite... Um, a little, yes, little quite, tan. quite well tanned there. Yes. Very nice. That comes from hours of being in the bush. It also comes from your Portuguese heritage, of course. <laughs> Probably that too. Yes. By the way, are we having chicken for dinner? We are not having chicken for dinner. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> I'm not sure what we're going to have for dinner. Um, one of you said that you loved seeing Sindhi, how Sindile found us. Yes, Sherry. Mm. Sindile absolutely found us today. <laughs> we didn't find him so, at all. Everybody, mm. I need to quickly give you an update on our way back. We remember we heard all those lions calling and um, and that lioness answering the calls. As we got back to uh, uh, Buffelsook Dam, there was a large male lion that had came and lay in that exact same spot where the lioness was. He was. And I think when he called, she must have decided she didn't want to hang around and she moved off away from there. And then on our way close to the camp or back and close to the camp, we went along the Gowry Road. And we bumped into two lionesses, who I assume are from the Nkuhuma. <laughs> Here we go. Nkuhuma. Nkuhuma pride. Nkuhuma pride. Well done, yes. Nkuhuma probably. pride. Yes. And they were lying out in the open. So, it, so we had three different lion sightings this evening. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's fantastic. So we will definitely try head there in the morning and, and uh, see if we have any luck. Patty, you want to know how far away it was from here that Sandile was released? Uh, Paddy, he was released on the Sand River, like you say, and the Sand River is probably about seven kilometers.
from where we are now. So it's not far at all. And he's he'd made a, he's made an enormous circle. I don't know if you've followed Jerry uh, Camacho's um, posts on Facebook, but he's done a huge uh, circle around. Oh, so I'm getting all sorts of messages from people there. He's done a huge <laughs> circle around there. Ooh, who are those and, messages from? Oh, I can't tell you. Sure. <laughs> oh, it's a private matter. <laughs> and he seems to be making a smaller and smaller circle into the area that is his was his sort of home range with his mum, which I think is quite interesting. Hello from New Brunswick, Canada. Tim Sadler, what do you think, guys think of zoos? We have one closed that fall in Ontario. Maybe you heard about the media report. No, I haven't. Byron, your take on zoos? Um, you know what? I, th- I think zoos... You know, I've been to some zoos down in Australia, which I found were very well managed, and they try and kept... And they try to keep the habitat as natural as possible for the animals. Mm. And I think it, it does play quite an educational role for children who are not able to go to the, the, the areas, the game reserves, and see the wildlife. And mm. I, I do think it does play a, a slight role. But again, it depends on the management of the zoos. Um, and it is sometimes sad to see animals in, in small, yeah. confined spaces. Yeah. But if it's well managed and they're able to live a happy life in an area that is not too confined and as much mm. or as close to the natural habitat as possible, I think it's not a bad thing. What do you think, Brian? Um, I do agree with Byron. I'm not a big fan of zoos, but as Byron said, if mm. it's educational and there is some comfort, then I guess it's all right to a degree. <laughs> For me, my face crunches. What yeah, do you think, James? I think that they play a very important um, research role. I think when they're used for research, mm. I think, especially in South Africa, you know, uh, what, we've got 53 million people in the country. I would say less than 10% of them can afford to come to a game reserve or will ever come to a game reserve. And zoos, therefore, I think play a really important role in introducing people to the wild. And, yeah, I'm sure it is uncomfortable for some of the animals. I think zoos are much better than they were sort of 30 years ago. And, yeah, you know, their research yeah. programs, that a lot of them sponsor, I think are massively, massively important. Mm. Yes. So that's my take on that one, Tim. You're welcome to tell me I'm talking rubbish. I may well be. Um, what are our backgrounds? Melissa, Cobb Langlois. I met a girl called Langlois once. Twins, actually. Oh, Very nice. Well, that's um, an interesting story. Yes, not <laughs> perhaps for this forum. Um, Melissa, we all have different backgrounds, and that's the great thing about getting into this. Mm-hmm. Byron never went to school at all, as you can tell. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> see, again, again, you see the abuse, the abuse I get. So Brian, let's start with Brian. James, give Brian a chance to speak. Um, my background, I'm actually a trained 3D animator. He's a trained 3D <laughs> animator and now a bush cameraman. Yes. <laughs> and I don't know if you saw our little fireside chat after the um, TV show that we did the other day, but Brian described how it is to become a wildlife cameraman. That's Louise going off outside. What are you going to do, Louise? I'm going to... Um Check the vehicles. Check the vehicles. Oh, okay. As one should every day. Yes. Good luck out there, Louise. Well done, there Louise. were lions Take a about. Torch. Be Thank careful. You, Louise. Um, so that's what Brian did, and mm. so in, you can do anything to get into wildlife filmmaking. I mean, you can learn on the job, you can do it formally, you can do whatever you like. Byron? You? Um, so I went to a very prestigious school in Johannesburg known as King Edward VII School, and right next door to James' <laughs> school, which we used to beat on a regular basis in rugby. And nothing else. <laughs> Um, and then Especially after school, English. I actually went and got my guiding qualification quite early on, just out of interest sake. After that, I went and studied for my sins. I tried to study a BCom degree. No. That's and, a Bachelor um, of Commerce, everybody. A Bachelor Basic of Commerce. business degree. Did you business enjoy degree. It? I did not enjoy it, no. Mm. <laughs> but it did help a little bit with certain things that I'm doing now. And then I went on to start at Londolozi Game Reserve where I met my good friend James over here and yes. um, and I guided there for about five years and now for two years I've been running my own business and Kevin just one second Kevin Darby I'm going to block you you say come on Kez no more of that <laughs> yeah and no more of that <laughs> St. David yes. so yeah. I've been running my own business for two years now and doing private guiding throughout Southern Africa and taking people all over which has been fantastic and now the privilege of guiding on Safari Live. Yes, indeed. Mm. It is a privilege uh, for you to work with us. Now, um, as it is us with you, 
I, uh, being it's... less imaginative than Byron, got a formal qualification because those of us without imagination must go to do a formal qualification because we're unable to do it without that sort of thing. Um, anyway, that was a message from Emily Wallington. I don't know what she said. I hope Ooh. that she wasn't shouting at us. If I'm in trouble, I'm sorry. Well, James, none of us. Friday fun time. <laughs> anyway, so basically anyone can get into this. You can do it any way you like. It's really, uh, some people have got degrees. I've worked with guys who were in the army. I've worked with people who did um, cash and transit uh, stuff. I'm not sure if you know, have that anywhere else in the world, but here where um, stealing money is quite a sort of national pastime, you have to have... Uh, security guards who take your money around if you're moving money from place to place and I worked with a guy who did that I worked with com IT geeks um, I worked with salesmen <laughs> and, and now various a 3D animators and now 3D and animators, the animators. There we go. So salesmen really, for six months <laughs> there's, no, there's no one path into this at all no. Byron, do you find it Brian, Brian, do you find it challenging to stay focused with camera when you are come across a very exciting animal encounter? How do you keep it all together as well as you do? That's from Jane. Thank you, Jane McWilliams. Question. Brian? Um, I don't know. It's actually a tough one. I often say that I have no emotions out there at all. You feel nothing. It's really strange. Like you, you're, you're, you're just on a dead pan and you just watch what's happening. I find that it doesn't scare me at all, it's really exciting to watch, mm. but it's just, it's, it's natural, it's what it is, and I'm just here to view it, so whatever's going on out there, I'm just watching, I'm just I'm, having a good time viewing it. I must say, I find it astounding the way the cameramen hold it together. Um, Eileen, you want to know if we can keep Byron? Um, no, he eats too much, so uh, I think he'll be here for a week. Thank you, so. Eileen, yeah. I'd love to stay, but I'm sure I will be back in the future after this week. <laughs> Hopefully. 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 We'll see how it goes. We need yeah, James to vote for me. me. No, we don't. Yeah. I have no say. <laughs> All right, everybody. We're going to wrap it up for Friday. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on Saturday. That's tomorrow Thanks, at Good night, everybody. Thank you very Bye. much. Bye. Bye.